IPv4 over MPLS. What is the MPLS? MPLS is a routing technique. In this video, I want to talk about many topics, many concepts about MPLS. For example, LIB, for example, LFIB, or label, or MPLS itself. But for now, we should only start. Before talking about anything, we should start and in the way we will talk about all of the concepts okay this is a very important video for learning mpls fundamentals and ipv4 over mpls let's get started first what is the mpls mpls is a routing technique and is the abbreviation of multi protocol label switching we will see many new topics in this video first mpls multi protocol label switching mpls unlike ip routing use labels to forwarding you know that in ip routing in traditional IP routing or IP forwarding, the packets have destination IP, the packets have destination IP, and destination IP compared with the routing table in the routers. And after that, the packet can be forwarded toward destination. And you know that this checkup is down on the data plane as i mentioned before of this video in the ip routing video okay you know that the normal packet the user data packet the routed packet has destination ip destination ip check with the fib fib is the forwarding information base and after that the packet forwarded to the destination because of that we use in IP routing with RIB in the control plane and FIB in the data plane. Okay, we don't have other tables in the normal IP routing. Okay, FIB in the data plane or forwarding plane. This is the normal IP routing. Okay, but what is the MPLS? In MPLS, or multi protocol label switching we experience packets that have label we will talk about label but for now label is a number for example 20 for example 30 for example 40 or maybe 1000 okay the packet with the label receive to a router or you will understand you will experience that we call the routers in the mpls terminology lsr lsr means label switch router okay the packet received with the lsr and after checking with the special type of table that that is that its name is lfib label FIB not FIB in the data plane packet can be switched toward the destination okay because of that in MPLS we compare label with the LFIB and forward and forwarding the packet okay but in IP routing we compare IP with FIB and forward the packet yes i know there is many questions in your mind and i know you ask that what is the difference what is the benefits we will talk about all of these topics for now we should only start and in the way on the way 
we will understand many of these the answer of many of these questions okay but for now you know that MPLS use label switching but in IP routing we use IP routing or IP switching okay let's get started with MPLS and understand the concepts in this new space okay we have this scenario the scenario that now only configured or will be configured with the IP addresses I have the configuration from before from the previous scenario and I want to apply this configuration to the routers this configuration is the same configuration as previous video okay we i don't change anything look at here in r1 i used enable conf t hostname r1 the ip address of interface eth00 is 10121 and router ospf1 router id and then network command i enable ospf in this scenario and after that r2 r3 r4 and r5 okay same configuration as the previous scenario previous video okay let's first copy this configuration into the routers and then we can start mpls okay in r1 in r1 i copy the configuration this is the configuration in r1 and second in r2 this is the configuration of r2 from here and then r2 okay and then r3 this is the configuration of r3 i will give you this notepad don't worry about the configuration r3 and here okay next on r4 i use this configuration you can see that this configuration is same as the previous video in r4 i paste the configuration and finally in the r5 okay very good this is the last router and this is r5 very good now we can check the connectivity in this scenario as i did in the previous scenario for from r1 i can check the neighborship ospf neighborship with r2 and in r2 with r3 and r1 and again and again to the r5 okay let's check it in r1 i use show ip ospf neighbor r1 now is neighbor uh, r1 now neighbor of uh, r2 and r2 show ip ospf neighbor you can see that the neighborship between r1 and r2 and r3 and r2 now is uh, now complete and in r3 show ip ospf neighbor yes the neighborship between r3 and r2 and r4 is okay and then r4 show ip ospf neighbor neighborship is down with the router 3 and router 5 and finally in r5 show ip ospf neighbor okay it's neighbor with the r4 now we can check the connectivity from R1 ping 10, 4, 5, 5. This is the IP address of ETH00 of R5. Check it. Yes, it's okay. Now we can start MPLS. First, I want to enable MPLS in all of the scenario. As I mentioned before, we should experience MPLS topics in the way of on the way of configuring and checking the concepts in this scenario because of that don't worry about the steps that i mention and i will mention in this scenario first you should enable mpls two you can check the parameters you can check the concepts because of that now i should first enable mpls with one method and then again we will talk about the configuration for configuring mpls you should do a simple task 
for configuring MPLS, MPLS, yes, first you should 